Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. And God bless you, Pastor Irvin and Barrett. Thanking God for this day, the start of a new day, Wednesday, hump day, middle of the week. We're halfway there. And how thankful we are that we're able to start our morning in prayer and on the Lord's side. Again, this is Time with God Morning Prayer and Devotion. I'm Pastor Irvin Lynn Barrett. I pray that you've had a wonderful night, that you're prepared to start your day. I want to welcome our new subscribers. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and thank God for you and as well. Thankful for our returning subscribers. Thankful for all of you. May the Lord bless and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you is my prayer. I'm going to share with you a scripture. After I've given you a scripture, I'll give you an overview of what that scripture is saying. Then we'll have a word of prayer. And we'll pray for the needs and desires, the requests that you've made, as well as some things that God has placed on my heart. Then I'll give you some parting words as we conclude and start our day. I encourage you, please, like Give a thumbs up, which is the equivalent of a like, or give us some comments in the chat. And as well, um, in the comment section, uh, all of these things help our algorithm, help us become more visible. We want to saturate our environment with prayer, praise, and proclamation. You can help us in doing that. And uh, so I encourage you, please, give us a thumbs up, give us some comments in the chat, and uh, help us to become more visible to those seeking Christian content uh, and searching for wholesome, creative encouragement on social media. Our scripture this morning, as we go into the Word of God, is going to be found in Psalms 100. Psalms 100 and the fourth stanza, the B clause. It says, Or rather, the sea cloth, I should say. It says, give thanks to him and bless his name. The whole verse says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Psalms 104. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever and ever and ever. I think we underestimate the power of our praise and our gratitude unto God. We underestimate what God can and will do unto us and how it has an effect on our bodies, our minds, and our spirits. Gratitude uh, is the key and the catalyst for more blessings, but it's also the key and the catalyst for better living. A grateful heart is a fertile ground for the seeds of joy and springs up and blossoms into abundance when we allow our focus to be on God and we can sense and see God through everything, especially through the, the blessings, the small things, the things that he continues to do. It changes our trajectory and our focus on things that we, that we see and are part of. Uh, many who are wrestling with conditions, circumstances, um, disorders, it's often because uh, we're not allowing ourselves to see and recognize the little things that God is doing in our lives. We live in despair. We're overwhelmed. We have issues in our relationships. It's often simply because we have not and are not focusing on things, the little things that really make a vast difference. If you're thankful, joy comes and is a part of your spirit. Gratitude is important. We should thank God and praise God for all the wonderful things that he's doing today. And so I encourage you, if you are if you are struggling with sadness, battling with depression, overwhelmed with um, despair. Think of the goodness of God. That was one of the songs that we used to sing years ago. Just think of his goodness to you. Think of the goodness of God and as well count your blessings. When we begin to focus on the things that God is doing and we single out those things, it makes a vast difference in our lives. Be thankful. 
count your blessings, recognize and identify all the wonderful things that God is doing. See God moving and know that God is at work in your life. Thank God for this word today. I pray that it blesses you as it has been a blessing unto me. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we honor you. We bless you. We thank you. Thank you for this day, this time, the wonderful privilege we have of sharing, the wonderful opportunity we have of being in your presence, starting a brand new day, and for calling upon your name. You're an amazing God. You continue to do amazing things in our lives. We praise you. We magnify you. And we thank you today. Thank you for bringing us to this point and part in the week, for waking us to a new day. Even amid many challenges, we're grateful and thankful that we're on your side. We're grateful and thankful for our salvation. We're thankful that things are as well as they are. They may not be perfect, but we recognize that we're a part of your perfect will and your divine plan. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of what you're doing at this time, at this season. We come to the brain for blessings and for healing and for deliverance. We come asking for your hand of protection, praying that you would bless our day, bless our lives, and richly direct us in all things. We come seeking you, trusting and believing that you've got all things under control. Come lifting up those in our society that are battling with sicknesses and illnesses, those who are in hospitals, institutions. We lift them up, praying for healing and for deliverance, praying for our homeless and less fortunate in our society. We pray that they would be blessed, kept, and provided for, especially doing all of this in climate weather, flooding, and the challenges that we continue to see over and over again. We pray for blessings and for deliverance. I'm praying for all of those that are on our prayer list. We pray for those as well with special needs, handicaps, and difficulties. Maneuvering, we pray, God, that you would meet every need. We pray for the ones that are struggling, that's having a hard time getting started, wrestling with depression, those who are battling different circumstances and situations. We pray for perfect peace in their lives. We come asking as well for healing and deliverance. We come praying for Yandy Kyles, praying for Stan Polk as he's preparing for a procedure. And we're praying for miracles to be worked in their lives. Praying for John Powell, who is, we're thankful for, is doing well. We pray continued blessings upon John and Susie. We pray for John, John's continued success. We pray for Van Drummond. And we thank you, God, for all the wonderful things that you're doing in Van's life. We pray for Greta and Eric. We pray that you'll continue to watch over them. We pray for Molly, her family. Pray for Veronica and her family, Ben, Jake, and Violet Foster. We pray for Relina's son. We lift up Relina and we pray for her son as she is requested. We pray for Gordon LeBlue. Pray that you continue to be with Gordon, continue to watch over him, bless him, sustain him, and keep him. Continue to give him strength, dear God, and continue to be by his side. Thank you for watching over him and blessing him. Continue to bless him is our prayer. We pray for Miss Betty Sims and lift her up unto you. We pray for continued blessings for Miss Betty and continued healing and for strength and power according to your divine will and plan. We pray for Cheryl Grant. Pastor A.C. Stapleton, Pastor Donald Parson, Pastor Luther Williams, Pastor Teal Barrett. We pray for and lift up uh, Pastor Aaron Reynolds. We're praying for Pastor and Sister Eddie Brown, Elder and Sister King, Deacon and Sister Jackson. We're praying for Ronald and Yvonne Cartwright, Dorothy Smith. Uh, we're praying for Karen. I'm lifting up Karen and saying special prayers for Karen today. Praying for Roy Williams, Anthony Johnson, praying for Scott and Breaking Free Ministries, all in the family ministries, Hope Restored Missions, Texas Muslims Women's Foundation, Adventure and Victory Ministry, praying for the Armstrong family, the Braggs, the Coxies, the Johnsons, the Rock, the Noble, the Howard family, the Sims family, Calhoun, Le Blue, Polk, Spazito. Praying for Cassandra and Joseph Igana. Praying and lifting up um, Dion Ramos and her family. Praying for her and her mom. Lifting her up unto you, Mrs. Um, 
Ife. We pray continued blessings upon her life. Pray for Doris Harris, Charlene Wright, Linda Bird, Sandra Thornton, Mother Rock, Derek Streamley, Kenneth Fabian in India, Matt Calvin Teeterton, Denise D. Fairling, <clears throat> Darius Timmons, Terry Hornsby, Wendy. Praying for <clears throat> Tom. Continued prayers for Tom and praying for Sandy and Sandra, Catherine, Kathy, Steve, John, <clears throat> and all of those that are part of the heritage and as well. Lifting up and praying for Timothy Cliff, Cameron Foley, and praying for families everywhere, people everywhere. Praying for my family, lifting them up, praying for peace in our world. We as well, God, ask <clears throat> and pray that you would be in the midst of our every situation, our overwhelming moments, our overwhelming and challenging circumstances. We pray to you. We look to you because we believe that you have all things under control and that you do all things well. I pray today that your blessings will manifest in our lives and that you will abundantly provide for our every need that you will sustain us and keep us through all things and through every circumstance, that you will, will be performed in our lives according to your divine plan and purpose. Have thine own way. Have your way in our lives and in our circumstances. Help us to see the joy and gladness and to experience your divine favor, your wonder in all things that we say and do. Continue, God, to have your way and bless us in the precious and perfect name of Jesus the Christ. I pray as well, dear God, that in all things you will bless and keep us, and as well that you will make your face to shine upon us. Continue, dear God, to bless us abundantly and supply our every need according to your riches and glory. If you do this, dear God, we'll be careful to give you praise, glory, and honor. Now, and forever and evermore. It is in the name of Jesus the Christ that we ask these blessings. And we thank you because we believe that you truly have heard us, that you're going to answer us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank God. Blessings to you again. Thank you for this time and for the privilege of sharing with you in this way. It is such a blessing that we're able to start our morning in prayer. I encourage you to, again, Give us some comments in the comment section. Give us some likes and as well, thumbs up and as well, share the word of God. And that's probably the most important thing. Share the word of God. Psalms 100 today and four. Share that with someone. Call someone and give them the scripture of today and allow it to be a blessing for them and to them and give instruction in their lives. Be blessed. May God bless and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you is my prayer. And I pray that you will continue to pray for us as we pray and lift you up. Please know nothing's going to happen to you today that God has not equipped you and prepared you to handle. He's given you every tool and every resource that you need for blessings and for divine favor. Continue to trust and believe God in all things and know that God has everything under control. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.